Well, we have a wonderful guest coming to the stage. I haven't seen him in, God, a, a, a long time. Time, interesting. Uh, <laughs> he works at a shop. Please welcome Maxwell Keeper. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Didn't realize that was part of your thing, doing the sort of Phantom of the Opera. Yes, with my midnight blue cloak. <laughs> and then no one knows it's me giving you advice down here, <laughs> teaching you how to podcast. <laughs> teaching me how to podcast. Yes, like the Phantom. <laughs> Was the Phantom teaching people how to do opera? Yes! <laughs> I think he was giving classes down there. Yes. <laughs> Maxwell, it is so Tis good. I, the very timekeeper. Mm. For, for the people, especially this person down in the front row, who's <laughs> giving the hardest grimace I've ever seen in my life. Explain your dude. You're you're a, you're a man that we met on the show a few years back. Yes, but I need no explanation. Everyone knows who I am. Independent of this podcast. I don't know about that. You're you're a gentleman that we came across. Yes. Uh, a lot of a lot of the people who are on the show. We have an open door policy when we do the show. If you want to be on the show, you come be on the show. And you're you're a, a fellow that we took a liking to. Uh, your name is Maxwell. Maxwell Keeper. The Time Keeper. And you, you're obsessed with... I love and celebrate all things time. That's it. That's my whole thing. <laughs> you're excited by the very concept. I love concept. time. Every, every aspect of it. Durations. <laughs> explanations. What, what about the E equals MC squared equation? Isn't time one of those? Energy, mass, the speed of light. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> a light year it could be sure, okay. tied in. It's a so it's a yes. It still counts. It's in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen you in... How long has it been since I saw you last? Since I helped Mike Mitchell promote the Tomorrow War. <laughs> Did that help? Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite soccer movie. <laughs> it begins at a soccer game. Oh, of course, because but, I've seen it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Chris Pratt doing the, uh, the Mario voice? You excited about that? I think anyone should be able to do it. <laughs> you think that anyone, like, so you pay to go see a movie and you get the chance to do a two-hour VO session beforehand and, and then hear your own VO I'd up on the screen? I'd love that, yeah, like a, the, the kiosk at a mall where you make a music video. <laughs> you could do that for Mario's voice in a movie. <laughs> By the way, I love that you said two hours. <laughs> A wonderful amount of time. So you're... You, we, we first got to know you yes. as this fellow who is fascinated by the concepts of time. Yes. 24 hours, 48 hours. Ooh, oh! <laughs> yes, I love time and everything associated with it. Six days, seven nights. Ooh! <laughs> It's what? okay. <laughs> We're only thinking of the time and nothing else. <laughs> yes, I love uh, all things time. Mm -hmm. And I work in my brother's watch repair store. Well, that's the other part that we found out about you. You, uh, you also have a very interesting job. Yes. Which, uh, you, your when brother... their watches are in for repair, I call people to let them know what time it is. 
But I've been getting into a new hobby lately. Oh, you have? Yes. Really, a hobby? A hobby. So this is maybe perhaps not time-related, or...? Nay, tis time-related. <laughs> what, what is this hobby? What does a Maxwell Keeper spend his hours doing? I've been making TikToks. <laughs> Now let me explain what that is, because you don't know. <laughs> a TikTok is a short video that I make of myself saying what time it is. And I do a little dance. And then I just keep it on my phone. You don't upload it to the internet? So, or No. <laughs> so the video section of my phone is filled with TikToks. I'll make one right now. Would you like to film me? Sure, yeah, I'll, okay. uh... It's 7.29. Okay. And... action. It's 7.29! <laughs> Tick-tock! And then, do you ever watch them back, or...? Yeah, I watch them back. Some have gone more viral than others. <laughs> viral to you, because you're the only one. Because I rewatch them more often. <laughs> right. <laughs> By the way, you, uh, uh, your cloak swiped the, the razor-thin padding that we have for these stools. <laughs> so it's to your right if, you, if your little butt starts to ache. I thank thee merrily. <laughs> How's that feel? Quite good upon mine rump. So you work for your... Who's your brother again? Desmond What's, Longo. Desmond Longo. He works at uh, Longo's Watch. Longo Watch Repair right, in right. Tallahassee, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> That's him! <laughs> He's here tonight? He's here tonight. Desmond Longo is here? Desmond Longo with, with my sister, his wife, Eleanor. Eleanor Longo, nay, keeper. That's her. <laughs> and you're close with your brother. He, he gives you sort of a, a courtesy job. Does I he... think I'm pretty crucial to the whole operation, but... <laughs> Yes, he, he does employ me. D uh, he pays you? Well, he gives me board. I live in a Harry Potter-esque bed under the stairs. <laughs> Harry Potter-esque in the sense of the, the, uh, there, it's not magical, it's the, the actual, it's like the bed he... It's like, yes, yeah. where he lives with the Dursleys. <laughs> And you, your name is not Keeper, for the record. It's Longo. Is that right? No, no, no. My brother-in-law is Longo. I am Maxwell oh, Keeper. that's right. And, and Eleanor Keeper. Yes. Eleanor, yeah. Longo, nay, Keeper. Yes, yes. Yes, got, yes. got it. Um, and so he feels sorry for you. Is that... I thought he was my friend. <laughs> but he, uh, he also loved celebrating time. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't celebrate... Yes, yes, he takes pity on me. Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm s Maxwell, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Uh, 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 <laughs> you look like you're in a two-man horse costume. <laughs> I was in one of those once. <laughs> really? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that experience. What was that like? Well, there were already two men inside, and I decided to climb in. <laughs> Get out, they said, and I said, I'm sorry, but you were saying one of my favorite words. Nay! <laughs> I thought we'd get along. <laughs> and then they said nay in quite a different tone. <laughs> and I left. 
good end to that story. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it on the moth. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Do you like podcasts? Yes. Do you have they a They always take a different amount of time. That's what I love. It's always fun when one downloads on your phone and you're like, ooh, how long is this one? Exactly. TV shows, oh, it's an hour, it's a half hour. Boring, I, mean, I get used to that. A podcast, I never know. Shall it be two and a half hours? It's Talking a about podcast. a Chucky movie? <laughs> <laughs> or shall it be but a nanosecond? <laughs> nanosecond? Yes. <laughs> I gotta start doing nanosecond long podcasts. They're good. <laughs> I, I, I can binge those for seconds. <laughs> Did I sit on the right chair? Eh, probably not. Okay. <laughs> do, do you want to switch? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is this my better side? Yeah, how's Ooh. this feel? Feels good, right? It's different. I could get used to this. Do you want to film a TikTok? Yeah, sure. I'll no, do I'll that. film you doing one. Oh, uh... The, it's 7.34. Go! The time is 7.34. <laughs> yes! Now that's a good TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to film a TikTok? Okay, it's 735. <laughs> Everyone stand up and dance. Now. <laughs> and, and now landscape mode. <laughs> That went exceedingly well. <laughs> Why do you wear that cloak again? Because I'm the timekeeper. This is not an official title, though. N no, <laughs> but it allows people to identify me. If they see me on the street, they'll know I'll know what time it is. And also, if they just feel like striking up a conversation about time. How often does that happen? It hasn't yet. <laughs> But it may someday yet. And then they'll know that I, that's a guy I could go talk to about time. When did you first get interested in time? When, when were you first even aware of the concept? Hmm. Quite a long time ago. <laughs> you know, they say that time is just a thing that the government invented to make us all late. That sounds rather satirical. <laughs> I don't buy that. Time is a dimension all its own. That's true. It's the fourth dimension, they yes. say. Yes. Yeah. In indeed. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Yeah, indeed. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? I guess I started loving time as a young lad. You're, I mean, you're still a young lad, although you're quite a bit older than the first time we met you. Yes, yes. <laughs> How long has the show been on the air? Uh, 13 years at this point. Oh, that means I'm 38 years old. Oh, good. Yes. 38 is a little old to be wearing the cloak and to... Uh, no, people, uh, an ageless one may wear said cloak. Okay. Do you want to wear it? <laughs> no. We could both fit under it. <laughs> All right. Infectious, isn't it? <laughs> You're too close to me. I can't do this. <laughs> So, Maxwell, what brings you to Seattle? Is there anything? The street clocks. <laughs> and I read an article on KOANews.com from 2012 that said Seattle is the city of clocks. 
Well, I googled that term and found no other reference to it. <laughs> so going off one article from KOANews.com in 2012, Seattle is the city of clocks! Yes, Seattle! The city of clocks! There used to be 55 street clocks. How many now? Fewer. <laughs> So they didn't build on they, that yes, momentum. Yes, I wasn't, yeah, they didn't ex- That grow one article <laughs> didn't spur them to put No, more. no, no. Tis receded in numerical value. <laughs> <laughs> Twas no better way to put it. <laughs> Do you, didn't you have a girlfriend for a little while? Lisa <laughs> Porsche. <laughs> but we lived in different cities. Yeah, where was she again? She... Boston? Boston, I think. Yes. Yeah. And, and since then, has there been any, you know, any action in the... the We're pin pals. Oh, I don't mean in the Lisa Porsche oh. department. I mean, you know, with other... Nay! There's been not a single smooch upon mine lips. I'm so sorry. It's I... okay. I've kissed many a face, though. <laughs> You've been kissing your clocks? I've been kissing my <laughs> clocks! <laughs> okay, I don't... <laughs> That's good! You're all happy for me, right? <laughs> See? And are most of you psychiatrists? <laughs> See? I'm mentally healthy! <laughs> We do have a big psychiatrist draw <laughs> yes. for this show, yeah. Well, I, I, good. I'm glad that, you know, you feel happy, everything's good. I love well. kissing clocks. And it's so nice every few years to talk to a human when I come on this podcast. <laughs> you, you have to make more friends. I, the guy of the clocks and the people I call to tell them what time it is. Do you, what are what is the clock that's most like a human being? Hmm, quite a brain puzzler indeed. I guess the answer would be bicentennial man. I was trying to lead you to Grandfather Clock, but Bicentennial Man is... I, it was a, I was debating in my head, but Bicentennial Man came out ahead. Yep. Well, Maxwell, it's, it's, it's great to have you here in Seattle with me. It's great to be here with you, one of the original grunge rockers. Wait, who do you think I am? Scott Ackerman. <laughs> okay, you're way off. Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so if, if at any point mm. any of our guests says an amount of time yeah. <laughs> are you prepared to make a big deal out of it? I would love to, yes and they'll love it too <laughs> Alright, Maxwell Keeper everyone here, here is my co-host Tick tock, tick tock Why don't you come Come to your third seat of the evening. By the end, I'll touch them all. <laughs> With said Heine, of, of course. Well, this is exciting. We have a great guest coming on. Now, I say that having never met them. But uh, the aforementioned concerned parent is here. Yes. Uh, and I guess has something that uh, they want to say to the good people of Seattle. Please welcome to the show, Pearl Henderson. Yay! (sighs) Well, Scott, it's good to meet you, Pearl. And I'm pissed off. Great, okay. Well, yeah, that, I'm pissed off. You're pissed off. That wasn't a wave, by the way, y'all. That was me flipping y'all off with all five fingers. Oh, damn. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. Uh, you're, who are you pissed at? Hopefully not me. I'm pissed but. off at you. I'm pissed off at you. Haven't even mentioned I'm pissed. Fair enough. <laughs> what, what are you upset about? Because well, uh, I, I know you're a concerned parent. Is that right? Sure. How many children do you have? Several. I lost count at this point. I have lost count at this point, Scott. I'm so pissed. I want to talk to a manager. What am I doing up here talking to you? I want to talk to a manager. Uh, I want to talk to a manager. Well, usually the type of manager I'm used to dealing with is a Hollywood manager. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's funny. One bit. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. I have got to, I, I, I've got to stand up for my kids. My daughter, Caroline, she's one of a few. Carry on? Yes, her name is Carry On Luggage. <laughs> Mid, middle name is Luggage. <laughs> yeah, we named her as a bit and then we kept it. Carry on the luggage, stuck. Henderson. What's yeah? The bit stuck. The bitch stuck. <laughs> Let me tell you what. She does not get off the couch. She didn't get off the couch for nothing. She won't get off the couch not to go to school. I know it's summer, but I want her in school. <laughs> How old is is Carry on? She's seventeen this month. Seventeen this month. This month. Sometime in the next four weeks. I don't necessarily mean hmm. August. I mean, sometime, sometime in, the next, in the next four in weeks. The four oh. weeks. Four weeks, wonderful time. Go on. <laughs> is it in September? Do you know when it is? Or? Well, I got so many kids, I can't keep track of them all, Scott. Sorry about it. Yeah. Sorry I'm supposed to remember all their birthdays and their names and what schools they go to. But I'll tell you right now, Carry On is on my last nerve, and I'm going to have to talk to a manager about it. <laughs> what? what? I don't know that there is a manager for parenting. Uh, okay, so then who's in charge? Charles? <laughs> it's funny, but wouldn't it be a better world if he was? It sure would. I've tried to call Chuck several times to no avail. I'm sick and tired looking at this girl on the couch telling me she's enjoying her summer break. I'm like, you need to stomp your ass back to Dwayne Brady Senior High where I enrolled you. Wayne Brady Senior it's, High. It's a what? prank school. <laughs> we enrolled her as a bit and it stuck. <laughs> she stayed. What's she, is she interested in anything? Uh, boys, marijuana. Yeah, I guess, woo. <laughs> boys, marijuana, and um, having an attitude. And I don't know where the fuck she got it from. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if there was a boy made of marijuana? A boy made of marijuana with an attitude so she could get the hell out of my face and off my couch. That'd be awesome, Scott. So what, are you a manager or something? You got all these solutions. I'm, no, you work I'm, for the Geek Squad? Hmm? Where I'm from, the Geek Squad is the writers in the writer's room. <laughs> I don't right? think that's funny one bit. Well, uh, I'm sorry about Carry On and, and your other, how many other children? Several more. Several more. Several more. I don't want to say a number because if I say a number, you're going to judge me. You're going to call me something like Octo Mom. It, is it eight? It's not eight. <laughs> it's not eight. It's not eight. And I'm currently pregnant right now with two sets of Twix. I ate four Twix back to back. So you're having a little Twix baby right now? I'm, I mean, not right now. I hope not. Is there a toilet around? Anyway, I'm so, you know what? I tried to meditate before this. I tried to meditate so I could cool off. And it didn't fucking work. You yeah. want to see me meditate? Yeah, uh, what's your style of meditation? It's transcendental <laughs> orthodontist. <laughs> orthodontist? Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I grind my teeth while I meditate. You're grinding your teeth while you're I'm talking to me. I'm grinding them right now. My jaw's going 100 miles per hour. You want to see me meditate? Okay. All right. Great. Inhale. Exhale. Fuck, I'm still pissed. If I can't talk to a manager, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah, I, well, this is a talk show. This is, oh. I mean, you're... Yeah, I'm a host of a, of a talk show. What kind of talk show? Comedy bang bang. You haven't said a funny thing yet. <laughs> yeah. So is it the bang bang part? <laughs> so you guys here in Seattle here for the bang bang? 
He made a six days, seven nights reference. Okay, yeah, I caught that. Didn't love it. Didn't love it. I want you to help me with my daughter. Get Carrie on off the damn couch. Okay, I would love to help. Is it, at uh, least what can get I her into an airport. Into an airport? Yeah. Because then at least the bit would make sense. Oh, because of Carrie on. Yeah, okay. All right, you're a little slow to be doing comedy. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a little slow. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken. <laughs> right. Better not be none taken. And if there was some taking, you'd have to take that up with the manager, because I'm not one. I'm a disgruntled motherfucker. <laughs> Mother. You know, there was someone else that was slow and did comedy. Who? Hey. Silly Snail, a cartoon I drew. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, they love it. <laughs> they absolutely freaking love it. Maxwell, are you a cartoonist? <laughs> no, this, it was a bad drawing, and I gave it up after one panel. <laughs> is this a, is everyone just going to be up here doing jokes and bits? I have a problem. My oh. daughter is stuck to the couch. I, how big? She the... stopped going to school. Sorry. How do, how, how do we help you? How can we help? Yes. Well, that's what I'm here to, to talk, talk to, to you her? about. Yeah, talk to her or something. Okay, is she here? She's not here, but I mean, maybe you could call her. Yeah, I'll call her. Do you want okay. me to call her? Okay, yeah. What, am I going to have to turn my back to the audience uh, while you sure? call her? <laughs> maybe. I mean, why? Are you embarrassed? To... Well, yeah, I'm embarrassed of my daughter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, put her number in. And... Okay. Why do you want my daughter's number, you creep? <laughs> put her number in. And I am not a protective parent, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> And that is a... Uh, That's a two, long number. Two, zero, six, five. Yeah, she lives in Seattle with her dad. Five, five, five. Two, zero, six, zero. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 31. All right, that's her. Right, that's one her. digit off from my number. <laughs> What's ringing? It's ringing. Okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, I, I, I'm looking for carry-on. Okay. <laughs> so what? Like what? <laughs> uh, car is, is this carry-on? Yeah. Hey, this is Scott Ackerman of Comedy Bang Bang. Who? <laughs> Uh, uh, po podcast? Have you ever heard of a podcast? Yeah, I've heard of a podcast. Ask if she knows Silly Snail. <laughs> Wait, did I just hear something about Silly Snail? Wait, you know Silly Snail? <laughs> Hell yeah, I know Silly Snail. It was only one panel. I was there. I left the couch for that one. Well, we have the creator of Silly Snail here with us, Maxwell. Oh my god, oh my god, can I talk to him? Uh, yeah, sure, here. Tis I, Maxwell Keeper. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um... Um, could you just say my name? <laughs> Carry on, luggage. Oh. You know, your mother's rather concerned about you. Yeah, she sucks. Well, then tell her to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. That's what Silly Snail would do. <laughs> Did that girl just tell me to fuck off? Get off the phone with her, Scott. Sorry, sorry. You sorry. creep. Sorry, sorry. I want to talk to a high schooler. Sorry, did that? Do you think that helped? <laughs> no, well, no. He just told he just told my daughter to tell me to fuck off, and there is not enough room for two attitudes in that house. I set one wing on fire the other day. Oh, just to see if she'd get up off the couch. Guess what? She didn't. You set a wing on fire? I have a big house. Yes, Scott. There's a oh, wing, wing to my oh, house. I thought you meant a buffalo wing. A wing? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I don't think you can get catch one of those on fire, could you? What would? I, don't, I, I think you can burn anything. Your could mouth you? will burn after eating one. You know, the sure. temperature the paper burns is uh, 451. Okay, uh, Fahrenheit. Cool. Okay, yeah. the name of a book. <laughs> Seems high, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that does seem pretty high, but that's yeah. not what I'm here to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. I'm here to talk to you about my daughter getting high. Oh, oh, speaking of high. Yeah, why do they keep cheering for marijuana? That's my brother. <laughs> your, br your brother's marijuana or he's cheering for it? My brother-in-law is cheering for marijuana. 
Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize that Desmond was a stoner. He wasn't. He just got to Seattle this morning, and it's, it's overtaken him. <laughs> He's gone quite mad. Is this, is this whole thing a joke to you guys? Because I have several children waiting for me downstairs outside the venue. But bring them in. Well, no, no, I'm not gonna bring them in here. Here, people cussing and getting whatever you would TikTok in, people yelling for weed. Don't smile at me, I'm oh. pissed. <laughs> I don't want you to, yeah. Do, do you want them to frown at you too? Or no, it... I don't want them to frown at me. I want them to pretend I'm not here. This is embarrassing, Scott. I, I'm sorry, is there, what, uh, what about your other children? I want that, to, what, what about them? What do, about them, you want, you want me to give you their numbers too? Sure, yeah. You creep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do they have attitudes as well or are they all well behaved? They're pretty well behaved, okay. I'd say. Yeah, they're oh, pretty well good behaved. For you. So it's just yeah. carry on. Carry on is a bitch, I'll say it, mm. about my own daughter. All right, so, 206. How, wait, wait how, you want all my kids' numbers? Yeah, put them all in there, just in case. Scott, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. I want to talk to a manager. You're, what, what, why did you bring me on a show? I, uh, uh, I'm, uh, look, I, I have an idea. Do you mind just, like, occupying yourself? Occupy, occupy myself. Hashtag occupy yourself. <laughs> yes. Sure. Sure, I can just do that. Huddle up. Okay, Maxwell, she really wants to talk to a manager. <laughs> Stop kissing me. Are they me. kissing? Wait, was I? You just wanted me to watch y'all kiss up here? No. And occupy myself? And by occupy myself, did you mean touch myself? No. Yes. Okay, Maxwell. Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maxwell's very lonely. Well, y'all were kissing. Well, look, under... it's been a long tour. I'm lonely, too. I didn't know here to see two people kiss under a cape. And then tell Where do you me, usually go for that? Oh, uh, I usually go to uh, uh, Pearl's. It's a bar I own. You uh, own? I own the bar, yeah. And you, and you have people kissing under capes there? Yeah, and I didn't need to come all the way to Seattle to see that. I could see that in uh, Compton, where I'm from. Oh, you're from Compton. Yeah. Don't and ask about the accent. I don't want to tell you my backstory. <laughs> I don't want to tell you my backstory. I'm not going to. I mean, if you ask... He asked, forced me to tell him my backstory. I would like to hear some of your backstory. Okay, well, ask me something. Mm, you is don't it Pearl, like, let's in an oyster, or, like, the programming language? Good you question. Know, I never thought about it that way. I mean, I guess it's like an oyster. Okay. Because I'm constantly applying pressure. People, everywhere I go, all my peas are popping. Mm. <laughs> Not that piece, Scott. Stop looking at me that way. Oh, okay. Scott. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not looking at your popping pee. If the, uh, Stop looking at it. You know how many children I popped out of that pee? No. Several. Now I kind of want to look at it. You want, oh, oh, my God. Oh. It's hard to keep the eyes. Who is your manager? Who's your manager? Gonna Christy have Smith at Rise Management. Christy Smith at Rise Management. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys cheer, You guys know Christy Smith or something? They do. <laughs> she so, manages all the greats. <laughs> Executive producer of the rehearsal? <laughs> With sure. Nathan Felder? Yes. Yeah, well, Carrie On sits on the couch all day, watch that damn show. Mm. There's oh. only five episodes. Oh, she just watches it back and back and like she starts it all over. A Big fan of Cora Skeet. Mm. <laughs> Well, how, 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 I'm, uh, what's interesting about you? I'm, I'm trying to get to your backstory. Okay. Well, that's rude as hell. You own a, you own a bar. I name, own a bar. Na name Pearls. Name, namesake bar. Yeah, name Pearls. And you have people kissing under capes People there. kissing under These capes. Well, people yeah. doing illicit drugs. <laughs> illicit drugs. Illicit drugs, Yes. And this is a feature of the bar? This is, what, what do you mean a feature of the bar? I mean, Are, it happens. I didn't set it up You just turn a way. blind eye to I it. do turn a blind eye. I don't usually watch people kiss under the capes either. But you forced me to. <laughs> and now I'm pissed. <laughs> Why is that funny to you? <laughs> do something. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I was trying to get Maxwell here to pretend to be the manager, but instead he started kissing me. <laughs> well, do you I need misread that. <laughs> 
how can we settle this, Pearl? How can I, how can I you. help you? Do either one of you have children? Oh, either not one. even close. <laughs> how could you be so far? What do you mean, not even close? Uh, I haven't. Do got... you mean what? Because now I'm starting to wonder. Does this mean like the sperm in your body's dead? Not even close. What does that mean? It means it's like a yes or no answer. Well, there's sperm in my body aplenty. <laughs> but rarely doth it travel elsewhere. Okay. I understand. I understand. You're not active. Mm -mm. Well, that's noble. That's actually noble. Because I'll tell you what, having kids it ain't easy. It is not easy. Do they all have the same father? Most of them, yeah, oh, scandal. And he lives here in Seattle? Most of them, what's that? You said he lives here in Seattle? Well, most of them have the same father, a couple of them don't. Mm. And they live here in Seattle, all yeah. of them, they're roommates. Mm. <laughs> they're, roo they're roommates. Their dads are roommates, they're yes. <laughs> the dads of my children are roommates. Why are you looking at me like that? With that eye of disapproval. It's not disapproval, I'm just fascinated. You were dating well, roommates? Well, is this interesting about me now? Yes, yeah, you- I'm getting interested? <laughs> yeah, suddenly. Cool. So what? So how did you, were you dating one of them and then you saw the other roommate and yeah, started- Yeah, and then we had intercourse and I gave birth to a child and then I saw another one had intercourse with him, gave birth to his child. You know how sex works. Yeah. I, I do, I do. This is being recorded, right? So I can listen to that later. <laughs> Yeah, could you go into it a little bit just for future reference for Maxwell? How sex works? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, just for Maxwell. Yeah. Okay, I mean, this is ridiculous. Two grown people up here don't know if sex works, but sure, I'll do that. Are there kids in the audience? Perfect. Okay, so. Yeah, and, and, and describe what feels good about it when you do it to someone. Okay, have you had sex before? Oh, sure. Oh, sure, yeah, 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 of course. You guys are truly pissing me off, but okay. I'm getting peed off. All right, so the way sex works is a woman, a man, a man and a man, a non-binary person, a non-binary person. But never a they, woman and a woman. Oh, no, well, well, sure, a woman and a woman, whomever. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> whomever, whomever. <laughs> You rub your genitals up against one another. Sometimes it creates fire. Sometimes it creates babies. Sometimes, some, sometimes at least one party ejaculates. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by ejaculate? It means the sperm in your body would go swimming. Swimming without a life jacket. And they drown, they drown when they arrive, you know, where they're headed. You want me to have sex with Scott? <laughs> I don't think that's what Pearl is saying. Oh, I misunderstood. I am, I do not have permission, I do not have, I do not have any sort of permission to give consent over Scott's body, okay? And I'm trying to figure out what to do about my daughter. Mm. She is a sad sack. Yeah. Okay? I don't, I, I mean, whatever you two do, be underneath that cape is your business. That's cape business. Cape, yeah, okay, cute. <laughs> cute. Cape business. If it's under the cape, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it's under the cape, something's a gape. I don't know. Yes, I don't know. That's good. Pretty good. I don't know. I don't do comedy. I'm pissed. This is not a time for laughter. This is a time. This is a time for sadness. <laughs> <laughs> do, should we pray? What, what do we? Why are you always trying to get me to pray? <laughs> I've he never met me, you before. No, he asked me to pray back. Stage as well. Well, we do a traditional pre-show prayer like Madonna yeah. did on the Like a Prayer tour. Like a prayer. Yeah. Or like a virgin, uh, which you are. Is this how stand-up works? I don't know what the hell you have me <laughs> I don't do. think so. You're okay. Good at it. <laughs> but you, you are really good at it. Do you want to try stand-up for the first do time? Do I want it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, try some stand-up. Here. I, uh, here's, how we can, here's how we can work this out. Okay. We, we just need uh, uh, someone to shout out a subject, so, uh, like something you like can- Like mathematics or, or No, no, studies. no, like something you can complain about. And just remember, the news lies that stand-ups are the only truth-tellers left. Yeah. Okay. And they may try to cancel you if okay. you're too good. But yes. I, if, I, if I understand we, correctly- We didn't ask for this, but we're the only a, ones- A stand-up's job is to push boundaries? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. What? Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. I heard nothing. Okay. All right, this is 
Pearl Henderson. <laughs> Pearl I almost had it. I went. I was going Florence Henderson, Pearl, Rachel Brosnahan. Rachel Brosnahan. Pearl Henderson. Pearl Henderson. Pearl Henderson doing stand-up for the first time. Okay. What's up, Seattle? I'm pissed the fuck off. Okay, nice, nice. That worked. Okay, we checked that one off. Uh, what's the deal with it not being summer all the time, huh? I'm pissed. I want to talk to a manager about it. I hate being cold. Also, why doesn't the sun stay out all day? What do we need the moon for? What's the moon even doing up there? Everybody's asleep while it's out. Moon could be jerking off for all we know. Is that good? That's good stand up. I pushed boundaries. That was really good. Really good. You well, could become a regular well, here. Well, it's really weird for you to say it's really good. You didn't laugh once. <laughs> but I was scratching was my chin going, that that's funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was more of a cerebral kind of funny. Yes. Yeah. Did you enjoy hearing about the passage of time, the moon? The moon, and and yes. Nice time. It's always dawn somewhere. So how does that feel? You feel better about everything? Well, Scott, I don't know. Is my daughter still stuck to the couch? I really don't. Should we call her again? You are obsessed with my daughter. Do you know how old she is? She's 17 years old. 15? <laughs> okay, you want her to be 15? <laughs> All right, we're not going to call her. Okay, I don't think we should, Scott. I mean, we can, but if I have to turn my back to this audience again, I'm going to be more pissed than I already am. <laughs> okay, we don't want you more pissed. Oh, I'm going to sit down because I'm done doing stand-up. That was funny. Yes. Very good. Yeah. I'm just, I'm at my wit's end. I'm at my wit's end. What can we I do? Come at, what can we do? What can we do you for you? You keep asking me, and you haven't done one of the things I've asked you I would you love to do. to do anything for you. Get me a manager to talk to. Well, we have, I mean, we have someone coming out who... Owns of their the own. closet. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, someone who owns their own business. Okay. And, and, they, it, and they probably are a manager. manager. Might be a manager. Okay. Yeah, the CEO. Okay. Of? Their own business. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to let me talk to them or you're going to do the talking? I'll let you, you know, get a few words in. What okay. do you say? Okay, I say fine. Okay. Did you want me to say something else? You're looking <laughs> like you wanted me to say something else. What do you want to say? Scott, this is, you're fucking with me. <laughs> you are fucking with me, and I don't need to be fucked with. I'm running a business, taking care of kids. Yeah, they're outside, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> yeah. And are you really taking care of the business? I mean, you're not, it's incompetent. Taking care of business every day, yes. TCB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Along with your TMJ. TMJ, TCB, TSA, that's my son's name. TSA is your son's name? Yes. All right, Pearl Henderson, everyone. Hurrah! Huzzah! 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 Huzzah. Okay. Huzzah. okay, huzzah. The traditional word of encouragement that you've done well. Huzzah. Okay, all right. And you're a judge? I'm sorry. Are you judging if people come out here and do well? No, I can't. I think everyone is just doing well. Okay. All right, well, let's bring out our next I guest. I judge not, lest I be judged. Well, you know the rest. <laughs> All right, let's bring out our next guest. Okay. Uh, he is a small business owner. Does that excite you? You're a small business owner. You, you might have a lot in common. Well, I'm not that small, honey. I weigh 250 pounds dry. <laughs> dry? So I'm, not, I'm a business owner. I'd call myself a business owner. I gotta ask how much you weigh wet. Oh, soaking wet. <laughs> soaking wet, probably and about... 275. 275, mm. really? Water sticks to me like glue. Really? Oh, yeah. Are you sure you didn't just accidentally leave a bunch of glue in the shower? <laughs> oh, I put glue in the sh and it would stick to me actual glue. Come on, Scott, use your head. That doesn't make no sense. I beg you're, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. You are the first person to tell me that since I was born. Whoa, oh, no. That's terrible. And that might explain why I'm so pissed. Little love goes a long way. That's horrible. Not even the fathers of your children. What's that? Not even the fathers of your children. Told I, me I was beautiful? Yeah, I would tell you that while I was making love to you the whole time. Are you trying to fuck me, Scott? <laughs> I 
can't tell if you're trying to fuck me or my daughters. Which one is it? Are they a package deal? <laughs> well, oh my gosh. Well, now I'm pissed. I'm really pissed. Okay, if well, I was pissed before, I'm pooping now. Well, we have a... a... <laughs> That's what, that's what comes after. That's what happens. That's number pissed. three. Number three mad. I'm pooping. I'm pooping now. All right. Well, we have a small business owner coming out okay. here. Okay. Uh, and uh, How Nick, much does he weigh? We'll find out. Hey, uh, small business owner, let us know how much you weigh when you get out Please. here. No, Please. No. Okay. <laughs> I haven't said your name yet. Here he comes. You know him, he, he has several small, or I, I think he's an accountant too or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, please welcome Doug Gropes to the stage. Doug Gropes! Yeah, Doug Gropes. Hi, hello, hello. 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 What's up, everybody? Let's make some money! Let's make some money! Ropes, guys. How's everybody doing? Come on, guys. Come on. We're doing it. We're staying positive. We're doing it. We woke up. We all woke up out of a bed today. Some of us woke up on the floor, and we're all doing the same thing. We're trying to, trying to make it through the day, and we are gonna do it. If somebody could give me a quick hand. And that's right, well, do you see that teamwork right there? Let's hear it for teamwork! Woo! Woo! Here we go, guys. Okay. Here we are. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Four people, all made from egg and sperm. <laughs> Here together. I made a Twix, too. That's fine. What, what is Twix? Twix is a different version of egg and sperm, if you think about it. I am so excited. This has been, <laughs> this has been. You, you are so out of breath and you just ran up half an aisle. Honestly, my plan originally was to do four loops, hit the balcony, crush that three or four times, come back down. I, I, I hit my max <laughs> right about there. But I'm doing great. Honestly, I woke up this morning, and this is what I thought, Scott. This is really what I thought. Hi. Hi. This is what I thought. I wake up early. It's like 11.30 a.m., and I get out of bed. I make, honestly, one of the stupidest cups of coffee you've ever tasted. It was so good. It was so stupid. It woke me up, and I thought, where are we? Right? Because if you think about it, where are we? Inhale. I'm in hell. <laughs> I'm going to go out right. and go ahead and say it. And that's your POV, which stands for, Scott, POV? Pissed off very much. That's right. <laughs> Pissed off very much. But I was thinking, you know me normally as a financial advisor. That's right. That's what you are, a financial advisor. What I like to do is look at your finances and figure out a way that we can better them. And I figured something out. I had an epiphany today. Do you know what epiphany means? Uh, that's my daughter's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it means on top of a finny. That's right. In a lot of ways, you're right. That's exactly what it means, on top of finny. That's my daughter's father's name. Anyway, oh, I, was, I was on top of You were on top of Finney? Anyway, Finney was Finet. your father's Finet. name? Finney. God. And my, anyway. God, I bet you he was a... Was he handsome? He was, he was a Seattle 10, a Los Angeles 12. Oh. <laughs> Usually it goes the other way. Well, that's in your opinion. <laughs> Let me ask you this, and I don't mean to bring it down, but I know we've been going through a tough couple of years and we've all been in some we've all been in some serious financial ruin (laughs) 
We're trying to do the best we can. We're cutting coupons. We're going into the newspaper and we're cutting out a coupon for uh, generic Kroger gummies. And we're cutting that coupon out. And we're getting in our car and we're going, please, let the grocery store be open when I get there. So I can use my coupon. Those are the types of situations we're in. Those are the high stakes situations that we're in. So I thought about this. What if we took money and we took it away? And then we brought it back and then we took it away. What if we took money, say with me, and we took it away? And then we took money and then we took it away. Okay, not everybody, just a couple. Oh, you guys are doing it. Not, you, so this is what I want to do. Would you, would you allow me to have a little bit of an experiment right now? Sure, yeah, Doug. We, do you have we, a dollar on you? I, I don't. The last time I talked to you, you took a $100 bill from me and tore it up. <laughs> so I brought no money out on stage but, today. In all honesty, how'd that work out? <laughs> not good. <laughs> All right, because all I saw was a positive thing. So this is what I want to do right now. Oh, yeah. you guys. Holy I shit. Have Look at that stack. $100 dollar $1 bills. And guys, I want to give back because this is a profit from my company this year. So I want to give it back to you guys. Wow. Okay. Now, everybody who has a $1 bill, now collect these. They're all over the place. Collect these. I'll give one to People you, People are too. being bashful out there. Collect a $1 bill. These are real $1 bills. These are real $1 just okay. bills. thrown Take 100 into the audience. Now, I want you to, uh, you have to trust me on this. Okay, we trust you, Doug. Everybody who has a dollar bill, just stand up quickly. Quickly. How quick do you want us to stand up? Actually, sit down and then stand up quickly. <laughs> Say, there it is. There it is. Now raise the dollar bill up into the air and rip it in half. That's what money means. That's what money means. Rip it in half. Rip it in half. Rip it in half. You did. Okay. Now, just hit. This is scotch tape. <laughs> Go ahead and take that and just start handing it back and each of you tape it back together. Could I have one piece? You can just, I'll get it, I'll get it started. It's always hard getting it started, but isn't that the truth about everything? Everything's hard to get started. But once you get it started, it's not that hard. So you take that, you tape together your dollar bill and you tape together your dollar bill and this is what happens. This is the construct of money that man has created. It doesn't really exist. So tape it all together and we'll just wait. wait you just, you wanna wait in silence? Just give, well, him a, give him a second. Give him a second, okay. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. We're still on person number two of 200. That's great. It's fantastic. And I'll keep, I, I can... Uh, do some stand-up, maybe? Yeah. Ooh. Do a little stand-up. They made me do stand-up. I'll stand give you guys up. a little stand-up while you're doing that. Do you need a suggestion or no? Yeah, I'd love a suggestion. What kind you... of whiskey mixes with uh, NyQuil? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very specific suggestion, Maxwell. <laughs> that sounds like... I, yeah. Wait, so, is your stand -up, your suggestion is a question? Yes. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure I got that right. Oh, so <laughs> that's the subject. <laughs> yes. Okay. What guys? All right. Uh, wait. Listen, guys. What kind of whiskey uh, mixes with Nyquil? <laughs> <laughs> any other suggestions? <laughs> Do you have you any? Did it. This guy's good. <laughs> okay. Then, okay. Here's a suggestion. What can we do to get my fat daughter off the couch? Do you have an... Uh, well, she's not even all, fat. I just call her that. I'll tell you what. She's not even. She's not even. Well, how old is she? She's 17. How much she's, is she? She's not even. What does she weigh? She weighs 10 pounds. Okay, that's... That's too that's very fat. I guess I didn't mention she's sick. It's very fat. Oh, okay. Oh, how many? Didn't. This whole time when I said she was stuck to the couch. I bet you... Does there, who has the tape right now? How far have we made it back? 
Okay, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Actually, we're doing horrible. Okay, I guess what I can do is just everybody bring up your dollar again that has it taped together. We'll, we'll do this, and you guys keep taping. That's great. That's wonderful. Look at that. Here we go. By the way, all of you uh, are, could go to jail for doing this. <laughs> I learned that. I learned, I learned that last year when I did this and I ripped mm. up a hundred dollar year bill. That's fantastic. <laughs> he's, he's excited by the year. Yes. Oh yeah. Last year. Ooh, 2021. Last year. You, one. There you go. You did jail there time. You. So here's what jail I'm asking time. you to do. Oh my. Guys, so bad. this is what I want you to do over okay. the next year. I'm a financial Ooh. advisor. Stop thinking about money. Whenever you turn a corner and you run into some money, I don't care if it's a paycheck I don't care if it's an idiot on stage whipping dollars out to you. You rip it up. You rip it up. You spend no money. You do nothing with money. And now I want you to uh, bow your heads <laughs> and swear to me <laughs> that you'll never use money again. I swear. I. <laughs> I. I. Let's fill in your name. Fill in your Maxwell name. Maxwell Keeper, the we'll, Time Keeper. <laughs> we'll never use money again. We'll, we'll never, never use, use money, money again. again. My dear. That's great. And uh, Scott, do you have any questions? <laughs> I have a you question. Have any, you, oh yeah, the Time Should Keeper. Should I rip my Apple wallet in half? Excuse me? My Apple wallet on my phone. Should I rip it in half like you Absolutely. did to said dollar? Absolutely. Everybody pull out your phones. <laughs> this is a good point because we have such digital currency. By the way, I have Gropes Coin coming out. Mm. Gropes Coin is coming out next Gropes year. Coin. This is your last name as a coin. Doug this, Gropes. Gropes Coin is, is my is, uh, currency that will be coming out next year. Cryptocurrency? You, is, it, is it crypto or is it... I, it doesn't matter. It is just a currency. It's physical currency. I feel it's like it's crypto currency because his last name is Gropes. Mm. Yeah, I would call it crypto. Yes. Wait, no, 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 no. I would never, I would never grope somebody, ever. De specifically because my last name is Gropes, so everybody expects it from me. I would never grope anybody. Hey, what happens I under the cape stays under the cape. <laughs> well... <laughs> No. You want to get oh under my that gosh. cape? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, well. Okay. <laughs> did, you're you're did groping you me right wait, now. Did, okay, well, you're getting groped publicly. Did you yeah. get groped under there or just kissed? I just made a kissing noise and groped myself. <laughs> okay. I fully made love to him. Oh. oh. Fully made love to him. Now, I know. That's what it was. guys, I know what you're thinking. What's a guy like me doing in a comedy show? <laughs> yep. <laughs> right? That's what I thought. Yeah. Right. Listen, I wake up just like you guys. I may not be smart. I may not be fit. I may not have a lot of money. I may not have good advice. But you're a financial advisor. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's where I was going with that. All I'm going to tell you is I'm a great financial advisor. Go to my website, www.gropeitwhenyoucan'tbegivenit.com <laughs> backslash healthy grab uh, uh, tv net at Yahoo. <laughs> Hit me up. Hit me up. I can help you guys as much as I can help anyone. I hope you, do, we have some more dollars out there, you guys, right? Okay, just bring them send, up. Bring them. You, you can keep them. Send them back to me, snail mail. <laughs> snail mail. You got to go to my website to find the address, but I'm going to be here and waiting. God damn it. What a day. <laughs> what a day. What's that? What's your address, I think, is what someone wanted to ask. My address is 7007 Aldea Avenue, Lake Balboa, California, 91406. My uh, social security number is 001-546012. What about your first pet name? First pet's name was Rogan, which means Big Red in Penobscot Indian. How big was your grandma's butt? <laughs> Dude. 
<laughs> well, they used to call her Biscuits, if yeah. that gives you an idea. It was big. It was a good size. But that's the thing. She was proud of it. She didn't care that she had a big old rear, right? My kind of lady. I love that. Yeah, she owned it. Just like you own what you guys have. And that's a dollar for some of you. And the rest of you have agreed to never use money again. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Spread it. Spread it to all your friends. Make them commit. Make them commit. What are we doing next? <laughs> well, Doug, I, I, I think you're a finan financial advisor, and a lot of people sure have been is. going through a lot of hard times. Yeah. The pandemic. Mm -hmm. Some people have been really out of work. Yeah. Uh, some people. Hmm? You said hard times. Go on. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite date of 2021? Of 2021? Yeah. Well, January 1st was good. <laughs> I always love a new year. How do you feel about January 6th? <laughs> I had some qualms. <laughs> it's a rough day. That was a rough day for all of us, I think. What, I think. what were you doing on that day? I was taking a tour. <laughs> With my family. It's a crazy tour. Crazy tour. <laughs> Did you get any souvenirs? Uh, yes. I have a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> but I have not figured out the, uh, the password for it yet. But I'm trying. I'm trying. But God... God, that was a good day. My favorite... Uh, my favorite day of the year... And I guess I'm probably alone here, is Christmas, because that's the day Jesus was born. Mm. <laughs> People do not want to applaud I don't know, Christmas. I feel Jesus was born within the month, within this month. I don't actually, think he's oh, Actually. Actually, yeah, but he was not actually born on the tw uh, December the 25th. De December 25th was born mm. sometime within the month. Well, we'll never know. But you know who was born December 25th? Baseball legend Ricky Henderson. Okay, he's got all the facts. <laughs> okay, trivia machine over there. Are you a baseball fan? Oh, oh I love their birthdays. <laughs> all the players have one. Do you know? You don't know any stats, just birthdays. I would collect the cards to see their birthdays. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. But but Doug, a lot of people out there are going through hard times right hard now. Hard times, Scott. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Tough times. Yeah. Impo impo I'd go as far to say impossible times. Oh. I'm sorry, Scott. You said this man was going to be able to help me. Yeah. Do you want to talk to him? <laughs> I just... mean, I feel like I help everyone because I, I take my own personal gain out of it. And you get to sit here and listen to all this stuff that comes out of my mouth. If you use, and this has been proven, if you use 1% of what I say, this has been proven. I swear to God, it's been proven. One percent of what I say in any seminar that I do, you will make over twenty million dollars in the next year. That and most people go like, impossible. That doesn't. That can't be true. How do you get those statistics? That's not possible. Okay, I have a financial question for you. I'm ready. Okay, I have a daughter who won't get her ass off the couch. Okay. She's into marijuana and boys. Okay. They keep cheering for weed, and I'm like, oh so my she, God. So she smokes a lot of marijuana, and she fools around with a lot of gentlemen? Sure, yes. This is what I would do. I'd double down. I'd shove so much weed down her throat <laughs> that she'll get sick of it, and I would have a line of dirty dogs at the door. <laughs> Just waiting to pound her. Okay. Hour after hour until she's like, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> and that's when you wink at her and go, bing. And you go, okay, let's okay. go to Ralph's. Okay. 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 Well, Scott, she want to be first in line since you're into my daughter? Not after I heard she was 10 pounds. <laughs> well, she's sick right now. How tall is she, she got by the, the flu. way? She's four feet tall. She's four feet, 10 yeah. pounds. Honestly, it does she's, sound hot. 
Okay, well, you want to get in line next? I'll get in line. Hey, listen, I've been how in line. How old are you? How old? Yeah. I'm 68 years old. <laughs> oh. I'm 68 years old, but I am what Did they you call... you say 68 or 628? I'm 628 <laughs> years old. You're, you're tall for your age. Yeah. Well, eight dog years. Uh, because oh, I don't believe in right. like humans yeah. being. Uh, yes. You're talking his language now. <laughs> wow. So I'm 48, six foot two. Okay. 280. So I'm not, I'm, that's not a small business owner. Because if I'm not a small business owner, he's not a small business owner. Yeah. That's fair. That's You're, fair. I I don't I don't need a label. I just want to be known as a friend. I have a question. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that Pacific Daylight Time just hits different? Okay, you're talking like my kids, and I hate it. I hate it. You're talking just Sorry, like my kids. Sorry, I'm a TikToker. You're okay. How old are you? 38, canonically. <laughs> <laughs> but my birthday's leap year. I just remembered. Oh, that's right. <laughs> So you have to be... Oh, boy. <laughs> we worked this out once, I remember. Yes, yes. And that was one time too many. <laughs> Isn't it funny, though? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how we uh, build our lives around money and time. Mm -hmm. And we're forced... You guys all showed up here tonight at a specific time and paid a certain amount of money yes. because you were told to. What would have happened if you showed up here tonight as a gang and just killed us? Or you were... <laughs> I don't, I don't I mean, know. I mean, who would even, stop it? Who would even stop be joking about Listen, that? Yeah, I don't think so. My kids <laughs> are out. Topical, it's, it's topical. I'm, it's topical. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. I, and you're asking what would have happened. But what would have happened? happened? We'd be dead. Yeah, I don't know yeah. that we want to inception that into people's okay. brains. I'm just bringing it up. I'm just bringing it up. I mean, I just think <laughs> just it's, it's important to think about these things sometimes, isn't it? I don't it? know that it is. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know that it is. God. I have kids outside waiting for me. How many? Uh, several of them. <laughs> Why does everyone, what does it mean when a woman says, I have this number of kids? Why do y'all want a specific number? Because we know how many times you've had sex. <laughs> had six. And we want to high five you. Well, not necessarily because I got a set of twins as well, so you wouldn't know how many times I have sex. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a good point and you make a good point. <laughs> Points are being made. It doesn't matter how many kids a woman has. That's true. Do you know You're... how much is on my plate? Greens, beans, potatoes, two businesses, several children. What's Great. the over-under? Over-under, ten. Over or under 10 kids? I would say, if I if gun to my head, and I do, don't want to put any ideas in, yeah, like, okay, we, but gun to my head, I'd say. Uh, over, do you want to reenact this or? Uh, reenact giving birth to the children or no, what? Gun, the gun to, to my head? head? Yeah. Okay, put the gun to my head and ask me. Okay. How I'm many over, kids do you have? I'm over 10. <laughs> Better fucking tell me. Over, 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 over 10. Over 10? Under 10? Under 10. Under 10. Over, 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 over. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. He's nice. twisted, but I kind of like him. That's you nice. like him? I do kind of like him. You know, if you want a second date, we'll pay for it. A second date? <laughs> this has is this your first date. <laughs> this is a date? Yeah, this is our Did first date. Did my kids trick me to come on this show because it was they were going to get me to go on a date? It's a new dating prank show that we've been playing on Comedy Bang Bang. Yes. Oh, okay. I get it now. I get it now. I'm into it. I'll I go. And your daughter can come. Oh, my gosh. Why no, not like, that way. My sick daughter. I have a sick daughter. I'm talking about the couch daughter. Yeah, she's sick, and she can come. I misunderstood. <laughs> I'm okay if it's just you coming. Okay, That's well, all right. I, all right. That's well, all right. how do you feel about dating a woman with a piss-poor attitude? Honestly, I think a piss-poor attitude is just a great attitude upside down. <laughs> You, you guys are really getting it all. He's charmed me. Yeah. Words of I'm wisdom. Charmed. I've been charmed. Who, who's the last person you dated, Doug? I, 
Weirdly, <laughs> weirdly uh, the last person I dated was Jennifer... Lopez? No, it was Jennifer, who was a neighbor of mine. We, we went to a Halloween party together, and we both showed up wearing the same costume. Mm. And she got mad at me because she said, I thought I told you this is what I was going to be. And I said, no, I, I misunderstood. And then she beat me up bad. <laughs> she really beat me up bad. And that was the last date I went on. And I've, it's, been, it's been a hard sense oh, can, getting back yeah. into the dating. And you're yeah, excited so about going on a date with my aggressive ass. If I, I'm very excited. Okay. And I, if I can... I'd like to take you out to, for Italian food. <laughs> How does that sound to you? I, I mean, I like Italian food. I like pasta. Ravioli. Oh. He knows his stuff. Tortellini. Fettuccine. Meatball. Okay, this is my kind of guy. <laughs> Bread and olive oil. Okay. Maybe a little red pepper pea on top. Okay, a little parmesan. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> and maybe afterwards we can go home. And, and do what? <laughs> a dry hump. <laughs> I prefer a dry hump before we get into the wet one, to be I honest. Because yeah. I think a dry hump is very telling about what the wet one's going to be like. Yeah. I've never not dry, dry humped. You're I've never not dry humped. You've, you've never gone straight into wet humping somebody. It's always no, I put a layer in between, and then I put a, a large uh, beach towel in between, and then I'll do like a layer of whatever I can find around me, whether it's a lamp or something. I'll put that in between. It's dangerous. <laughs> that sounds well, that's like what hurts. makes it sexy. It's a little dangerous. Okay. I kind of like him. He's twisted in but, the way I like. Okay. Well, we'll pay for the dinner, not the lamp. Okay. Oh. Come on. <laughs> We're not going to need a lamp. Gonna I'm not going to break the lamp. I don't hump that hard. I think it's going to be a dry hump because I'm not attracted to him yet. Oh, you're not? It'll be a dry hump to begin with. No lamp needed. Wait, I'm not what? attracted to him physically. Not physically. What would make him more attractive to you? I'll do whatever you need. Eating what? a big plate of pasta. <laughs> What if you dressed up in that Halloween costume? Halloween what, what Halloween costume was it that you both showed up as? It was a, a January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just, this, was a, this past Halloween? Tour guide. Yeah, it was a oh. tour guide from January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was sort of at a wool, like a woolly mammoth thing and a big... The, the horns. The horns. Oh. Um, Okay. Carrying a podium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It was rough. And, but she, I, and she was dressed up as slutty January 6th tour guide. <laughs> she just looked like a white trash bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But it was the same thing. I don't like how he talks about his ex. You like he it? Just, no, I don't. He just called her a bitch. Oh, I no, you, you misunderstood me. I said batch, looked, and you didn't let me finish my sentence. A, a white batch. trash batch of chocolate chip cookies. A white trash <laughs> batch of it's chocolate sweet. chip cookies. I okay. used to date someone named Jennifer. You did? Jennifer Convertibles. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you dated her? Yes. Was that her? I don't know. I never learned her last name. It might have been Convertibles. Fair enough. I don't want to go out on a date with the man who can't stop talking about his ex. I just want to say that. Can you stop talking about your ex? Absolutely. I will never mention Jennifer again. Promise. Swear to God. Done deal. Never again. Not ever. Promise. Never. Jennifer I, was her name. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Jennifer was her name. But I won't mention her in a sexual way. And do you like getting beat up? Because I like fighting. I do like being the person slapped around a lot in a relationship. Okay. Well, this is a good match. <laughs> I think it is. It's a Weirdly match. enough, we don't make a lot of, of, of love matches on this show, but when I see a spark between two people, I mean... It feels right. Can I, I just know. ask, what about us made you feel like we'd be a match? I don't like either of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. See, that's the same thing, though. You don't like either of us, so you don't like me, you don't like her. Two dislikes equals a like. Exactly. You actually love us, right? Uh, right? Right. You love right. us. Right. 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 Sure. God, so this is where we are. Think about where we were just like 15 minutes ago. Oh. Think of what, how far we've come. 15 minutes Yes. Ago. A adult swim show length. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. All right, Doug well, Gropes, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Go to my website, www.dougropesgropeseverything. <laughs> at Yahoo. You got to get better at the discount. I know. I'm not great at marketing myself, but that's the thing. I wake up and I, I promise myself to learn every day. And I will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it, Scott. Yeah, maybe you could wake up together. I hope so. I don't let men spend the night. I, I don't let him spend the night. I can and dry I can... hump from the room over. It'll be fine. I can dry hump well, through Well, then a... if you can dry hump from the room over, what do you need me for? That's a solid point. <laughs> All right, well, guys, it's time to get to our next guest. Are, are you fans of music? Love it. I think music's okay. It's all right. It's all right. As I love the time signatures. <laughs> four, four. Oh, ho, ho. Seven, eight. Yee. <laughs> four, three. Oh, <laughs> waltz. Yes. <laughs> three, four, maybe. <laughs> I could waltz to anything. <laughs> well, uh, our next guest is uh, a musician of note. Uh, he is, uh, he's been around for a while, uh, ever since the 80s, I believe. Uh, he's from uh, England. Please welcome Martin Sheffield Lickley. Hold on, Let's hold on, hold on. Time. Let's do it one more time. Let's take it from the beginning as you should not have faded it out. All right, here we go. Let us try it that one more time wonderful. without the... Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, son. I let you down. <laughs> All right, here he is, Martin Sheffield Lickley. Hello, Martin. But like in the game, there are winners and losers. But who makes up the rules? Thank you. Thank you. We started <laughs> over for that? <laughs> you have to get that part right, Scott. How are you, my darling lovelies? Martin Sheffield Lickley. So great to see you again. So great to see you. I'm so happy to be here in Seattle. Where music was born. Where music was born. I, I feel like my band, two plus two equals love, really helped the grunge scene. Ooh. The grunge was maybe a reaction to the over-packaged... Yes, they Synthetic. were like, we don't like seven pounds of hair gel, <laughs> which I have in right now. That's why my neck hurts bad. <laughs> Martin, I, for... I, mm -hmm. I, oh, <laughs> just clearing out my pipes. <laughs> so happy to be here. I went to the Pike Place Market today. Oh, you did? Local, yes. local yes. reference. Yes, yeah. it was very fun. Did you get a fish thrown at you? or? Uh, no, I was actually mistaken for a fish, and I was thrown around. You were thrown at a fish. <laughs> Sorry? At a fish? No, I was mistaken for a fish. Yes, but you were thrown... Never mind. These monitors are very <laughs> difficult to understand each other, aren't they? Yeah. You know. Um, but I'm very happy to be here, despite, um, you know, my tragic life. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is my kind of guy. Yes. 
Hello, Pearl. How Hello. are you? I'm good, Martin. How are you? I'm good. Better Don't now you... that I see you. Yeah, I love seeing you, my darling lovely. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. We could go all day, Scott. We could, we could do it all day and all night, Scott. Do you like Doug better or do you like Martin better? Well, it's too soon to say. Too soon to say. Well, too wasn't I included in the list? <laughs> oh. But Martin, tell us, when you say you've, you've had a tragic life, uh... Tell yes. us about that. What, what exactly happened? My star happened? rose in the 80s. Right. Uh, I grew up in Douglas Shire, Flat Ground Shire, <laughs> Dirt Shire, Sheep Shit, England. Small town, 4,000 sheep, sheep, six humans. <laughs> Wait, how many? How many? 4,000 sheep. 4,000 sheep, six, six humans. Six humans, okay. Yes, beautiful town, and I rose to stardom with my band 2 Plus 2 Equals Love, but then tragedy hit. Mm. Right when my star was at its brightest, uh, my, son, my son passed away. Oh. Um, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Terrible story. I mean, it's... Very yeah. terrible. Yeah. He drowned in a vat of Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> I thought he, I thought he smoked too many cigarettes. <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> no, that's me. That's my other son. You had two sons die. Yes, one drowned in a vat of Yorkshire pudding, and the other one smoked too many ciggies. Mm. You know, like the little smoking kid on YouTube, puff, 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 ciggy, puff, ciggy. I'm sure, sure. Yes, he got emphysema. <laughs> Childhood emphysema. It was devastating. Uh, but you know, us musicians, we take tragedy and we spin it into beautiful music. You know, Eric Clapton, uh -huh. he did it. <laughs> Tears in heaven. Love it. Will he see, will he recognize his son in heaven? Beautiful did, idea. Yeah. Did you hear that new song about the other worst thing to ever happen to him? <laughs> Having to wear a mask? <laughs> You know, he knows how to turn bad things into beautiful music. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what I did. So I wrote this next song about my son, Simon. Mm. All right, let's hear it. All aboard the ship of love We're going full speed ahead toot, toot. The ocean is full of broken hearts And the captain is a kiss Ship of love Full of tender hugs I must steer us Right to the island of love There are pineapples And crabs there But I cannot eat them Because I am too heartbroken today It's the ship It's the ship The ship of love I drive the ship Drive the ship the ship of love, look out for rocks, they're scary rocks. The rocks are metaphors for my broken heart. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. I sang that at my son's funeral. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say pretty up-tempo song de to, to dedicate to a dead loved one. Yes, it really changed the mood of the service. <laughs> I popped up out of the casket. <laughs> it reminded you... me of the screenplay for The Hunt for Red October. In what way? <laughs> there was lots of subtext. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, timekeeper. Good. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes. Hello, Pearl. Uh, Hello. He's making me blush. <laughs> he's making me blush. I said I was good the minute I seen him. <laughs> I am single, Pearl, just so you know. Okay. Well, tell me more. My wife tragically dead. died. Okay. Uh, is everybody just going to talk about their exes? <laughs> Sorry. Do I look like the kind of woman who wants to hear about your ex? Yeah. You just move have... on to sever. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Martin, how did Ballistic? you... Ballistic? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to... 
I'm trying yeah. to go. You just okay. have kind eyes, Pearl. I'm, I'm so a, I am a bitch. So you're. <laughs> You have Don't missed. say that about yourself. You're a batch of cookies if I've ever seen. I'm a <laughs> chocolate chip cookie. You are sweet I'm as a batch, a batch of chocolate, chocolate chip, chip cookies. cookies. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay. It sounds better when you say it. Hey, thank you, Pearl. No offense. No, that's that ziti, ravioli. <laughs> Linguini. You know, I go to a church where a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you I do, do know each other. I go to a church where a pastor, I mean, I, it's a non denominational spaghetti church. <laughs> <laughs> you go to spaghetti church. I go to spaghetti <laughs> church. You go to Wednesday night and Sunday? <laughs> I go to Wednesday and Sunday. Volunteer on Saturdays for vacation Bible spaghetti. Vacation Bible spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. And so that's not a school at all? No, it's not a school. It's just a bowl. Not a program? It's just, just a bowl, bowl of spaghetti. Bowl of spaghetti. That's on vacation and you can read it. Yes. <laughs> oh, I nailed it. <laughs> wow. It's because, well, it's okay. To be clear, it's vacation Bible spaghetti because the spaghetti is swimming in marinara like the ocean. Right. Like you often go to the you often go to ocean for, for vacation, vacation. Yes. Okay. And it's we, before the person serves you, they read a Bible verse to you. So vacation wow. Bible spaghetti makes perfect sense. So they give you really watery spaghetti <laughs> and read you John three sixteen. Yes. I'd love to go with you sometime, Pearl. <laughs> Oh, he wants to go to church with me. No, I'm taking you to church. Okay, how do you feel about me having kids? I'm, I love children. I'm, in fact, I'm missing all of mine. <laughs> Very recently. Seems like you don't take great care of them. And I know, it's tough. It's tough. It these is. kids, it these is. kids, they're wild. This, they're, they're, let me tell you what, they are out of control. Mine are, are outside right now doing God knows what with God really? knows who. Really? Well, you better yeah. be careful because one of them will choke on a biscuit to death. <laughs> and that's a guarantee. <laughs> one of mine did. And a biscuit is a cookie, even though you've said cookie earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he, a cookie he was talking about, data. Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, Yes, you know, football, uh, soccer, cookie, biscuit. I go back and forth. And then you did know vacation. Wouldn't it be holiday Bible school? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, can you blame me? I've been in the States for nearly 24 hours being thrown around in a market. <laughs> I picked up some English. Yeah. <laughs> English. <laughs> English. You mean American English? American English, sure, yes. Sure. But Pearl, I I would love to take you out because my wife, you know. Has it killed me like you killed your wife? No, I didn't take, kill her. Take me out. No, it was How a did tragedy. She pass away? What happened to her? She had a cheeky heart attack. Oh. So it was a bit, but it stuck. The heart attack. Say it again. The the heart attack was a bit, but it stuck. So cheeky heart attack. <laughs> Reference to an uh, earlier part of the show. Oh, sorry. I was popping up and down the stairs. <laughs> so I must have missed that part. Uh, no, her heart was uh, pretty goofy. Pretty, <laughs> silly pretty, little pretty, heart. pretty silly. Silly little heart. <laughs> and one day screamed, I'm going to keep beating. And then said, just kidding. And went out. <laughs> and you heard it. <laughs> and you heard it. I heard it. Okay. I heard it. I was mm. taking a nap, and I said, what's that, honey? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't really heart. want to talk about your ex. I'm God, sorry, but God I just wanted to explain to you that I turned that into beautiful music. Okay. And you're going to do another song? <laughs> To try to woo me, you're going to do a song about your dead ex? Listen, it's a beautiful thing that I did for my wife, and I would love to do something okay. like that for you. Okay, let's hear so it. So this song is about my dead wife. <laughs> You've been arrested by the love police for the crime of breaking my Go when their hearts commit a crime And there they get locked up behind love bars They locked me away and threw away the key And my cellmate was my broken heart There must be a way 
I sang that three times at my wife's wake. <laughs> three? Three times. I liked that song. I hate when songs have a moment where the singer isn't singing. <laughs> you have to fill these things up. Yes, yeah. yes. People you're, are you're... taking breaks to breathe, yeah. starting in the right key. <laughs> I do away with all of that. No, I don't do it. You're paying the singer. You want to get your money's worth. Exactly. Exactly. Sing the whole time. <laughs> I love Into the Woods. <laughs> what? <laughs> he loves Into the Woods, and we all do. That's a great. It's a great it's, musical. They yeah. keep going. It's relentless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot now. Mommy, yes, but Pearl. That did get me in the heat a bit. That got you in heat. In heat. Wow. Okay, wow. Orzo. I don't, lasagna. I already go to a church where we do this very thing. <laughs> I don't want you naming pasta. You gotta switch it up, Doug. You're not uh, speaking a language. I'm trying. I, I guess I just have to offer myself and who mm. I truly am. And if you're into this facade. I don't think it's a facade. No, you have to Wait, sing so a song to her too. Yeah. Hit the music. You sing now. You sing a song. That's right. Yeah. Play, yeah. play the first. Yeah, would you the put her in the first track? The first track. You mean Do it. the one that I planned? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you planned yeah. this? Yeah. The this is planned track. and written, and will come out perfect. Okay. Because I knew this was gonna happen, guys. One, this two, is... three, four. <laughs> <laughs> perfect pause. <laughs> There you go. Hey, mother effers, listen up, because I got something to say. This song is for me? Yes. <laughs> this song's for you, baby. You know who you are. So sit on the couch with me. You know you can do it tonight. You know you're going to sit with me tonight. We don't need no Italian food or anything, because you're going to sit on the couch with me tonight. Look out the window. Here comes the music. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. That's wow. only a reverse countdown. <laughs> a reverse. <laughs> An outro countdown. <laughs> Unheard of. <laughs> it's why if you're listening on the radio and a that's... new song comes on next, it's perfect. It's here, perfect. here comes the music. Three, two, one. That was for you. Song begins. <laughs> that was for you. I wrote that for you. And so your promise to me is that we'll be on the couch just like my daughter? That That's doesn't right. sound appealing to me. No, we'll be on the couch with your daughter. Because a family stays together through thick and thin and 10 pounds or, or four more. feet. It doesn't matter. Yes, and I And they agree. don't let their children all die families, in us. All uh, families should stay together. Unless, of course, they're mine because they're all dead. <laughs> Don't tell me someone else died in your... Yes, Doug here actually reminds me of my brother. Um, no, your brother died yes. too. He passed away at a screening of James Bond. <laughs> which one? Just, just which a one? James Bond? Which James Bond? <laughs> which which <one>? film? <laughs> which one? Thunderball? Spectre! Oh. Spectre! Spectre! This is the racist. worst one! So bad. Yes, he put him out. Yeah. Put him on his ass. No. Well, he wasn't sitting down in the movie to begin with. No, he stood up through all of Spectre. <laughs> okay. Out of respect. Out of, out of respect. -er. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, his, his lymph nodes gave way. <laughs> they just gave way. <laughs> they just gave way. <laughs> they drained just... out of his butt. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. I know. Just oh. hanging out like a tail. Yes, I mean, he lived for months with a tail of nodes. <laughs> what do you say to people, Martin, who might say you are a bad luck charm? Because it sounds like everybody in your life is dead. Well, that's, that would be true, but 
I mean, I take tragedy and I spin it into beautiful music. Okay. Do, do you, you, you have another song, song about, about your brother? I do, yes. This song is about my brother. Mm. Welcome to the Love Casino Where I bet my heart on black Wait, I forgot. Okay, we can pause. Oh, don't we can, stop. We can pause, we can pause. It's the let's, grief, let's, the grief oh, got me. He's oh, he's crying. Oh, he's oh, crying. Oh, no. no. The God. grief. The grief. It's too much. It was too you much. You can do this. You can do this, Martin. The grief's making me look at my phone. No, no. <laughs> he's looking at pictures. Oh, hey. <laughs> he's not me. looking at his phone at all. I'm he's just not. crying. It's sad. Okay, I'm better now. (laughs) All of my songs have the same backing track and it makes it hard to sing them. (laughs) That's the Martin Sheffield Lickley promise. This next song. The previous song. (laughs) is about my brother. Mm. Welcome to the love casino Where I bet my heart on black We've hit the jackpot of breaking hearts And I'm a high roller when it comes to kissing We play love poker And the dealer is my broken heart The chips we play with are memories of love I've got to count the cards in order to win the game Because just like love, love poker isn't fair at all It's the casino, it's the casino, the love casino Roll the dice, it feels nice, the love casino Play the slots, their love slots in the love casino My son's dead! Thank you! Son! Wow! So you gave your son. You did up your son him. in the song about your brother. And the one about and which and, and which son? It's a little Easter egg in there. Is this which son? Is this the Yorkshire? Park That's son? for the the real fans. Which one? It's not all true. His son is which dead. Which son? Which son? My nickname for my brother was my son. <laughs> no. It makes sense. <laughs> I could see the Bond influence in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was better than nod. Sam Smith Spectre. Yes. A little nod to Bond. <laughs> I don't want to put you on a spot, but could you yes, maybe Pearl. do a song about me, for me, so I can decide who I'm going to Yeah, go I mean, Doug with. sang a song about her, for her. Mm-hmm. Okay, Here. maybe we could do a dueling song. Well, he already did his. I think oh. No, he already did his. So it's gonna just be you, Mark. Just me. Yeah, Remo- it's gonna be that you, Mark. Will Remember You're that part where you up. weren't talking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't listen. Okay. Yes. So. You basically his was to uh, hang out with you. On Are the you couch. trying to buy time? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I would that I could. <laughs> I'm not. Let's, yeah, let's go with track one. <laughs> <laughs> That's my song. <laughs> oh, Pearl. Pearl, my darling, lovely. I love you. I love you, Pearl. Let's go ahead. Mary, I have a ring on me. Oh my God! It's my grandmother's ring, and she died when she got run over by a double-decker bus. Thank you. <laughs> Three, two, one. I give up. He deserves. He's too good. He deserves her. Yeah, that that was. That Pearl, are you crying? I'm crying. <laughs> I said I love you. You haven't, no one said I love you since you were born. Since I was born. Well, someone out here in the audience said they loved me. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So yeah. what's your answer, Pearl? No, I take myself out. I honestly, I was out as soon as you said I could dry hump from the room next over. So <laughs> because, guys, because at that point it was like, what do you need me for? And you said and nothing. And I said that's really. true. And I'm so, never going to be able to forget it's that. It's been 45 minutes. I've been great on my own. Hurry, my knee is hurting. I was oh. recently diagnosed with bird bones. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yes! She said yes! She said yes! Three, two, one! I love you, Pearl! <laughs> I'll, I, I'm, gonna, I'm getting to know you. I like you a lot. Okay. I like you a I'll lot. I'll take it. I like you a lot, and you're the first man I've liked in a really long time. Really? Yeah. Well, would you come back... With me to sheep shit? I did not say... No, nah, you liked me like 20 minutes ago. You liked me. I that thought. feels like forever ago to me. When you're a mother, 20 minutes is a lot of time. What's will your you ask? Go, will you go on minutes. tour with oh, me? Oh, I'm the, thinking it. On tour? What's that? He's no. excited about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just... Is, does he come every time? I don't, I don't know. I've never asked you that. I didn't know. Mentally. It's an endorphin rush. <laughs> okay, Serotonin. yeah. Oh, I forgot. Because your sperm doesn't move. Okay. No, it rockets permanent, around inside. Permanent residence is inside your body. Yeah, okay. it's rattling around. What's your ask? I want to spend the rest of my days with you. And knowing my history, I could only have minutes. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm down to give it a try. Yeah, I, I mean, are you making me say yes twice? <laughs> yes. I'm just double checking. <laughs> Smart. Not enough people double check after a proposal. <laughs> Gotta double check. Okay. Yes. I said yes. I got the two yeses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to just tell you right now, I am a handful. It would be an honor (laughs) to hold you with two hands. What are you trying to say? I said I was one handful, and you're calling me two hands full. Uh Uh-oh, someone's in the (laughs) doghouse. Yeah, you're going to sleep downstairs tonight. Our first fight! And this makes you happy? Okay, we're going to go well together. Because I'm, yes. yeah, I'm horrible. <laughs> I'll be the first to say it. I'm horrible. That's okay. No, you're you supposed just... to tell me, no, you're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm okay, okay with, I'm okay with horrible. Um, you're supposed, again, you're supposed to tell me I'm not. No, you're we're supposed... all flawed. We just, just saying, have to let each other. Horrible is just beautiful upside down. <laughs> Oh my Genius. God! Genius! He's Genius! Stuck. He's Cyranoing him. Genius! <laughs> Try it. Horrible is just a smile upside down. Oh. Horrible is just beautiful upside down. Horrible. If you look it in the mirror, it says, "I love you." <laughs> Fuck. No, I fucked no, it up. That's not what I said. I can't remember a thing. I'm saying it. You just, you need the cape? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I need the cape. Get out of the cape. When I forget, I need the cape. Thank you, time keeper. It's horrible. Okay. Horrible is just beautiful. Upside okay, down. someone's say kissing. It to me horrible is just beautiful. Upside That's it. Down. That's it. A good rehearsal. Okay, horrible. Doug is horrible literally is groping my husband to be. D- Doug, did what? you just kiss my husband? And no, I gave him a little dry hump, and that was it. It's not. Oh he's ready God. to talk to you. You broke a lamp all over my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Do it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm happy to be engaged, but I'm also pissed at the same time because it's sort of my M.O. Because of what? <laughs> M- her modus her operandi. M-O. Oh, sorry. Listen. <laughs> so- <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Listen. Horrible is just beautiful upside down. Say it. Say it. Say, she likes to be abused a little bit. <laughs> Say it angry. <laughs> Listen here, you batch. <laughs> now we're talking. Horrible's just beautiful upside down. Now bend over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you going to give me babies? I don't have enough. I would love to give you a little baby. And is it gonna stay alive? Like past a certain age? I don't know, it's really hard to tell. 
my jeans, uh, they were voted worst in the world. <laughs> By Unanimously. Whom? By whom? <laughs> the jeans pageant. <laughs> How does, okay, wait, I, I don't want to ask too many questions, but I got some questions. How does a jeans pageant work? Well, you wear all denim and you walk out. <laughs> They take a blood sample. And you take a blood sample, they test your genes, and they're like, this is, uh, uh, he has a history of super diabetes. Okay. okay. Um, and yeah, everybody just shows their blood type and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Leno won it one year, didn't he? Leno won it! The <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He drove on stage in a steam-powered locomotive, got out, <laughs> bled all over the stage, <laughs> and they said, you're clear, Jay, you're clear. You're clear, <laughs> which means you won? <laughs> <laughs> that means you won. You can't, if you get two clears, you win. <laughs> okay, well, all right, well, I would like to have some more children. Okay. Because it's just what I know. Why is that funny to someone? Well, first you have to get married. Uh, Doug, are you a... Do you want to... Or, or do you, are you an ordained preacher? I, I am not, but I, I Doug... We're I, gathered I, here today. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is akin to the plot of Marry Me! <laughs> okay. The TV well, show? The, the, the film movie. about Cat Belden. To celebrate the union. Okay. Of these two perfect souls. And this is how I'm going to stand at the you altar. You just stand kind of oh, far I gotta away stand from me. Far oh. away and with an attitude. One <laughs> who I learned many lessons from. Let you know what you're getting into. And one who I used to be in love with for a very short period of time. You told me you didn't need me for nothing. Not even a hump. <laughs> I feel like the past That's is fair. a little biased here. <laughs> do, you wanna, do you want to swap someone? You want a pastor swap? Could I do a pasta swap? Yeah, get in there, Maxwell. <laughs> I was uh, just getting to the good part. <laughs> you may each grab part of the cape. <laughs> <laughs> Forever is a very long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet, it can happen in the blink of an eye. I pronounce thee man and wife. Yes! Yes! The traditional handshake. Well, I thought he was going to let us consummate the marriage under the cake, but... Yeah, okay. do it. let him do it No, I don't bit. want to now. I'm going to wait till I get home. You, uh. want, you want to watch me and Martin fuck? <laughs> yeah! I think they want to watch us fuck. <laughs> well, it's the reception now, and I think every reception needs a little music, so Martin, do you have a song to... I could sing uh, one of those other ones again. <laughs> Encore. <laughs> Which is the longest one? Do, the Do one. number one. No, two. <laughs> Whoa. Audible. He's doing number two. All aboard the ship of love. We're going full speed ahead. Toot, toot. The ocean is filled with broken hearts and pearls. A kiss Ship of love Full of tender pearls I must steer us Right to the island of love There are clams With pearls inside But I cannot eat them Because I am too heartbroken today It's the ship It's the ship The ship of pearl I pearl the ship Pearl the ship The pearl of pearl 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 pearl, pearl. The pearl is pearl TikTok. True Timer! <laughs> Ryan Gall! 